The public viewing at the Capitol is wrapping up for now, but for much of the day, there were long lines of people yeah. waiting to pay their respects to Congressman Cummings as he lined state. And Rachel Cardin spoke to many of those people, and she has more on how they're remembering him. It was somber on the south side of the United States Capitol as thousands of mourners lined up to remember the life and legacy of the late Congressman Elijah Cummings. They call him the Honorable Elijah Cummings, a true patriot, a warrior. He was a man of honor and valor. He stood up for what was right. Making the trek from Philadelphia, this group thought of no better way to spend the day than to pay respects to a man of great courage. All walks of life. And that just goes to what he stood about. What's right is right, and what's wrong is wrong. And equality is for everyone, not just for a certain few. Patiently waiting, a woman from Arlington commended Cummings for his service to the nation, despite being so sick. He just is a wonderful public servant, and to see or to know or realize the things that he did when he was so ill, it's just so impressive. Through tears, she said seeing his body inside the Capitol would take a toll on her heart. Yes, <laughs> it already is. But the lesson for Peter Brunelli isn't in his death, but in the memories left because of his extraordinary life. He left something for us, and that's, that's what I think we're all trying to feel and, and gather when we talk together and share some memories. For lifelong Baltimore resident Camilla Green, a hero of our day has been lost and will be missed, a man who remembered his roots. I enjoy watching Congress Cummings' courage because to be able to stand up against most things requires courage and integrity. And behind the scenes, he could have said, I don't support Baltimore, but he fully supported whether it was behind the scenes, in front of the scenes. Cummings funeral will be held in Baltimore tomorrow. And the viewing was open to the public from one to seven thousands pass through the doors of the United States Capitol. We're in Washington, D.C. tonight. I'm Rachel Carden for WJZ.